Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, the best chemistries to use on your ultimate team. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead down below, hit that big red subscribe button for me. It does help me out. Um, drop a comment, drop a like, it helps me out tremendously. But with that being said, I do run a Titans themed team, so if you guys are new to the channel, I run a Titans themed team, so here is my team. Um, but you guys came here for the chemistry, so we're going to talk about that first. Uh, I do believe that both Balanced O and Balanced D are the best chemistries right now in the game. Now, if you asked me this a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, it would probably vary uh, you know, in differences because... Let me just show you guys the different chemistries you can use. So let's check out Tannehill here. Uh, now, I switched over from Go Deep. I actually ran Play Fake about a month ago. Then I switched to Go Deep, and now I'm with, ba I'm with Balance O now. So look what Balance O boosts. Okay, so you see everything there. Um, you can pause the video if you want to look over that. But a lot of stuff gets boosted. A lot of stuff gets boosted. It's a lot. Of different stuff that gets boosted instead of specific stuff that we're about to go over here so first off you've got power run garbage do not use this chemistry it's terrible um, don't use this chemistry it's it's no good zone run it's okay I wouldn't go 50 out of 50 zone run if you end up going zone run I would probably mix it in with something else um, so keep zone run in mind um, play fake is Okay, play fake is solid too, uh, but at this point in the game, the stuff that play fake boosts uh, is going to be medium route running, uh, short route running. Those are the two really key ones there. Uh, it does boost up um, throw power for your quarterback, as you guys see there, plus one throw power. Uh, it does boost up pass blocking and pass block power for your line. So this is not a bad ability, or excuse me, uh, chemistry to use in the game but I wouldn't go 50 out of 50 if you were gonna go unless you don't have the best team so like say your team is from maybe like a 90 93 overall it opens it up for a lot because at this point in the game a 96 overall a lot of people running 90 you know 95 plus overall teams um, and with their teams being so high you don't really need like the short route running medium route running because most likely all your wide receivers are already above 90 medium route running and 90 short route running okay uh, so you guys get what I'm saying there. Same with Go Deep. We'll, we'll, West Coast, I don't like this at all. Um, it, it's, it's, I don't know of one person that runs this. It, there's nothing really too special that it upgrades. Uh, it's just really a lot of stuff for your quarterback. Um, and I think I see a couple of... So it just upgrades pass block for your line. Uh, it's just not good, guys. I, I don't like West Coast. I put in this. I put it in the same category as Power Run. I wouldn't use it. So Power Run and West Coast do not use these. Maybe a little bit later in the year they might become decent, but as of right now, uh, do not use these. So next zone. So I said Zone Run's okay. Play Fake's okay. Go Deep. I would put it in the tier right above Zone Run and Play Fake because it does. <laughs> I, I, guys, I think balanced O is the option here if you have a 95 plus overall team because go deep, you're really looking at throw power, and a lot of quarterbacks already have really good throw power. Uh, you're looking at deep route running. A lot of uh, you know wide receivers already get up to that 90 threshold uh, deep route running. So really, you're you're not getting much out of go deep unless, you, like I said, unless you have a lower overall team, you're just starting the game. You could go with any of these options here. Uh, but like I said, I think balanced O is the option if you run, you know, a 95 plus overall team. But if you do run a lower overall team, check out your guys' players, check what they need. Um, like if you got if you got a couple of guys that you know hit the medium and short route running thresholds, but not the uh, deep route running thresholds, throw on go deep on them. Get that go deep up to 90. That way you have 90, 90, 90 on all your uh, route running thresholds. So. You get what I'm saying, guys? So if you have a lower lower overall team, check your team. Uh, you know, check your players' overalls. Check their stats. Check their attribute, uh, attributes. And check what they need. Um, offensive linemen, don't, re don't really worry about them. Um, not really 
thresholds for your O-line. Uh, you know, they just play pretty much the same no matter who it is, what their overall is. Um, obviously, you know, if you play a 60 overall versus a, you know, high overall legend, then, you know, it's it's going to be a difference. But, you know, 90 overall versus like a, you know, 95 overall lineman, there's not going to be much of a difference. They're going to do about the same. So, really... It just I, look at your skill positions. What you need, your tight end, your wide receiver. Check those two guys out. Uh, obviously, check check them out. See what they need. Uh, and that's why a lot of a lot of people are you know talking about. Make sure you get guys that fit your scheme. And your scheme is probably going to be if you have a wide receiver that doesn't hit the deep route running threshold, but hits the short route running and medium route running. Look for another receiver that is very similar. That way, the go deep helps out both of those. So if you have Three receivers that all three get the short route running and the medium route running thresholds. Uh, so that would be 90, 90 or higher. Um, and they don't hit the go deep, you know, the deep route running threshold. Run go deep. Uh, and then, you know, that's 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 pretty much how this is going to work. Um, but like I said, a lot of people at this point in Madden have a pretty high overall team. That's why I say go with balance O. Um, and I really that th I think that's a pretty easy choice here offensively here because I, I'll show you guys my team one time um, one time here I'm going back out so here here's my team so I had to go deep in the last literally the last gameplay video I had to go deep and then like 15 out of like 15 zone run uh, but I went ahead and went balanced though because you guys see the lineman does boot, uh, Andre Johnson was a 99 he's now a 98 Randy Moss is now a 98 he was a 99 AJ Brown is a 96. He was a 97, but the O line did get boosted up a little bit too. You got Taylor Lewan, who was an 89. Now he's a 90. Uh, Kevin Wise said the same. Hutchinson is already 99. Uh, Nate Davis was a 92. Now he's a 93. Dennis Kelly was a 93. Now he's a 94. Uh, Jared Cook stayed the same. John New Smith stayed the same. So really, I've just traded out pretty much, you know, boosts in the offensive line versus. You know, I lost an overall in the wide receivers, but that's okay because most of these guys hit the thresholds already. I'll check out Andre. I don't know. I think he hit. I, don't, I think he doesn't hit one. If I'm not okay, so he does go ahead and get everything. So, like I said, balanced O. If you guys already have your route running stats above 90, balanced O is the move. So Andre Johnson, you guys see, has 93, 95, 91. They're all above 90. It, it's it's you know it. He gets all above 90, so that's that's what you want to look for. Now, Randy Moss um, gets all above 90, so there's no need to go ahead and throw a specific thing on, you know, play fake, get the medium route running up, and short route. He already hit 90, so no need for that. I'd rather help out the whole offense rather than just Randy Moss because Randy Moss already, you know, he already hit the threshold of 90 plus. Uh, so I'd rather help out, like I said, the offensive line, boost the overall up there. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, A.J. Brown will check him out. I think, if I, I can't remember A.J. Brown, but I think, so actually, no, he gets all above 90. So, like I said, if your receivers are all above 90, medium, short, and deep route running, run them balanced O. Same with uh, the tight end here, Jared Cook. Um, really good tight end here. I really do hope he gets a power up because he's going to be really good. Uh, 95 speed is really nice, but the medium and short is already above 90. You guys see that? The deep, where's the deep route running? Am I missing it here? I guess the deep is already above 90 as well. So, like I said, all of my skill position, you know, the guys that are going to catch the ball for me, my wide receivers and my tight ends, they're all above the route running threshold. So there's no need to throw play fake on and get plus four play fake when all of my receivers in my tight end gets up above 90 on the, all the route running thresholds my batteries are low but we're going to keep going here like i said there's no need for me to put plus four on those route running stats when they're already hit the threshold so like I, when a threshold is basically like if you have a if you have a receiver that has 90 medium route running and you have a, another receiver that has 97 medium route running there's not going to be much of a difference Literally, they're probably going to run the route the same. That's basically what I'm getting at here. So there's no need for me to go ahead and throw on, play fake on Randy Moss, who already gets uh, the medium and the short route running thresholds, when I can go ahead and help out the O-line here and give them a couple of stats here on you know their run block, pass block, pass block power, run block power. 
like like I said, I'll show you guys the balance one more time here. Like it helps out everybody. Everyone on the team gets a boost. Derrick Henry gets a boost. Barry gets a boost. Tannehill, all the receivers, tight end, line, everything gets a boost. That's why I like balance though at this point in time in Madden 21. Now let's go ahead and move on to the defense here. Defensively, I do think balance D is the way to go. So we'll show, I'll show you guys what balance D does go ahead and get you. So I've got a 55 out of 50. Everyone on defense has balance D that can get it. So you, obviously you guys see Jack Crawford there. He's a silver. He's not going to be able to get chemistries. But everyone else that can get chemistries, I have balance D on them. Um, you guys see what it gets you. Plus two zone, plus two man. Now, my corners aren't that good right now. That's why I've been running lockdown for the longest time, and I do believe lockdown is really good. But let me go ahead and just show you guys Sam Mills and show you guys the other chemistries that you can go ahead and get. Um, then we need to go to attributes, but let's go ahead and show you guys the other chemistries on defense. Now, there is only four, so you're going to have balance D, you're going to have run stuff and pass rush, and then lockdown. So I think lockdown is definitely the best option here. If you aren't going to go balance D, because I, you know, if you run a budget team, cornerbacks aren't the, aren't the aren't the best. But like I said, in this point in, in the game, there's so many good cornerbacks that you can get on your team that already hit the thresholds for the you know 90 man 90s, uh, you know 90 man 90 zone coverage. Uh, but a lot of people are are still using lockdown because they want to get their cornerbacks up to 99 man and 99 zone, which is not a bad option. But you know, I, I, I'm really teed. I, I th I'm thinking about going back to lockdown because right now my corners aren't good. So lockdown will probably be the best bet for me. But right now I'm rocking with balance D, just hoping we get cornerback upgrades here soon for the theme team. But like I said, if you guys have a 96, 97 overall team, balance D is probably going to be the move for you guys. I don't know why it's not showing all the stats there. But here's run stuff. I, I don't don't do run stuff, guys. Um, same with pass rush. I, I wouldn't do pass rush either. Uh, the D line, it really doesn't matter. This really does just help out the defensive line and maybe outside linebackers. Uh, so I mean, this and like, I, listen, defensive line linebackers do not matter as much as cornerbacks and safeties. Remember this. The secondary in Madden 21 is way more important than the defensive line. And some outside linebackers, guys. So, like I said, run stuff. I you could run run stuff and pass rush if you already have lockdown at 50 out of 50, and you want to throw pa run stuff or pass rush on your uh, D line uh, just to get the you know extra overalls for them. But um, if you're more of a budgety squad, lockdown will be the move. Uh, and then, like I said, if you are a pretty high overall, it, you can either run balance D. Or you can run lockdown 50 out of 50 and then throw a little bit extra, you know, stuff here at run stuff pass rush. So it's up to you. I think balance D would be the equivalent of running 50 out of 50 lockdown and then, you know, throwing, you know, lineman chemistries, you know, putting pass rush on linemen and outside linebackers uh, or run stuff on them as well. Now, if, come, if it come down, if you got to make a decision between run stuff and pass rush, I haven't really looked into these as much. So you're going to get block shed impact block block sheds really important um impact blocking play rec is pretty important too on run stuff because play rec is one of the most underrated stats in the game in my opinion you get tackling which is pretty good hit power pretty good block shed pursuit play rec again it's like again tackling impact block block shed uh pursuit play rec all that stuff there um plus one awareness plus one stamina plus one hit power Okay, versus pass rush here, you get power move, which I don't think is as important as block shed. So you get power move and finesse move. Okay, so um, in my opinion, if you want the overall a little higher for your defensive line and outside linebackers, I would go with pass rush because you know the finesse move and the power move are going to help out there for your overall. But if you want it to, if you want it to matter like more and you're not worried about the overall and you want it to actually matter go with run stuff but if you're worried about your overall go with pass rush so i think run stuff is better but for the overall sake of things pass rush would help you out in the overall sake of things so i want to back out here and i want to show you guys 
my cornerbacks right now. So my cornerbacks are, I think they are all above 90, I would assume. I don't know about Jonathan Joseph, but I know Finnegan's above, uh, if I can remember right. I, I, I know he's above not, uh, 90, so he's, he's not. So zone is only at 89. Really hope he gets an upgrade here soon. But I'm still teetering between lockdown and balance D. Um, balance D does help out the overall a lot better than lockdown uh, does. So that is another reason why I did switch uh, to help out the overall. Like the D line, you guys noticed that if you go back and watch a gameplay video of mine a few days ago, I might have had lockdown on and my controller just disconnected. So we'll be right back. Arch, like I was saying, it does help out the overall a little bit better if you're in balance D because you guys, like I said, if you go back a couple videos ago and I'm playing a gameplay, uh, Jeffrey Simmons was probably 96 instead of him being a 97 because lockdown only only adds two overall to your line. So I'm not sure. I really was trying to get Kevin Carter to a 99 because that would have helped out a lot, but he only gets up to a 98, which is unfortunate. Albert Hainsworth does get a plus three overall boost. He was a 95, now he's a 96. He was 95 with lockdown, 96 with balance D. Lorraine Glover's a 99 with balance D. Um, you know, I could go back to Aeneas Williams here at cornerback, but for, for the overall sake of things, I, I'm leaving Leroy Glover here. I don't want Daquan Jones in at D-tackle two pulling the overall down, so that's why I have Leroy Glover just for the overall sake of things and for the reason that I think we're going to get cornerback upgrades soon in Dory, in Dory Jackson, Jason McCourty. Uh, those two guys desperately need upgrades. They only have a core elite card. And I think there is, I think there's only one other, I think it's Casey Hayward right now is the only other cornerback with, that hasn't gotten an upgrade other than the core elite card. So it's a Dory Jackson, Jason McCourty, and I believe it's Casey Hayward. It's the only three cornerbacks that haven't had upgrades all year. So I do expect them to get upgrades here soon. Um, so that's why I am rocking with Balance D because whenever they get upgrades, Balance D is definitely going to be the move for me because I'm going to have a 99, you know, Adore Jackson, you know, 99 Jason McCourty, 99 Desmond King. Then whenever Finnegan gets his upgrade, which I do believe is going to be an Ultimate Legend, uh, because Nomni Asamoa is worse than Finnegan. And I checked his stats and Nomni had an eight pick year, but he has less interceptions than Finnegan for his career. He has less tackles than Finnegan for his career. So Cortland Finnegan, if Nomni's getting a, you know an Ultimate Legend, I do expect Cortland to get an Ultimate Legend. Uh, that's just me. They may not do that, but in my opinion, I do believe Cortland does deserve an Ultimate Legend. Jeffrey Simmons, like I was saying, he was a 96, now he's a 97. Albert Hainsworth was a 95, 96. Um, and that's really why I'm rocking it. You know, also, Javon Curse might only be a 98 at outside linebacker if I have, if I have on lockdown, uh, which would be unfortunate. But I really want Javon Curse to be a 99 overall at outside linebacker because I like to rush my... Well, both of these guys are really good pass rushers, but obviously I want Javon Curse rushing the passer uh, rather than uh, Harold Landry. Uh, so that's why I have Javon Curse back here because I'm going to actually rush him a lot more. Um, thinking about running a... You know, linebackers aren't any good in this game, so it really doesn't even matter. Um, I really just want, if we got a Keith Bullock, that would be spectacular. Because a Keith Bullock would work in this, in this, in my scheme, uh, insanely good. Because he's going to have good man, good zone. Uh, and I'm going to be able to drop him back in coverage and rush Devon Kerr. So, uh, that would be nice too. But, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to talk about chemistries here and I've gone off track. But, like I said, if you guys run... Lockdown, not bad at all. I, I don't mind lockdown. Lockdown is very good, and then whatever you have left over, you want to throw it on your D-line, that's good too. Uh, but you get a plus three overall boost to pretty much every single position on defense. So Kenny Vicar is a 89 powered up to 90. He gets a plus three overall boost. Logan Ryan's a 94. He gets a plus three overall boost. Harold Landry is a 90. Actually, only gets a plus two overall boost. Uh, Javon Curse is a 96. Um, I want to see if I can compare him. I don't think I can, but, um, yeah, it just shows his 99 there. But he's a 96 there. I want to show you guys just to prove uh, what I'm talking about here. Let's just compare Vic Beasley to Javon Curse here. I want to show you guys what overall. And, okay, so 96, you guys see he's a 96. So that's a plus three overall boost there from 96 to 99. Uh, so that's a plus three overall boost there. 
uh, Rashawn Evans only gets a plus two overall boost, which is unfortunate. Avery gets a plus three overall boost. He's a 91 power up to 92, chemed up to 95. Sam Mills is a 98, so you really don't need anything on him because he's going to get chemed up no matter what. Uh, and then your cornerbacks get a plus three overall boost too. So pretty much everyone on this team except for Harold Landry um, gets a plus one overall, or excuse me, a plus three overall boost. So, and then lockdown, if you're on lockdown, you're going to have cornerbacks that get a plus four overall boost. Your line is going to get a plus two overall boost. Uh, excuse me, except for Kevin Carter. Uh, Kevin Carter is only plus two overall boost with balance D. But like I said, lockdown gets you plus four cornerback overalls, plus two defensive line, uh, plus three. So the, the safety stay the same. Cornerbacks get an extra plus one. Uh, the defensive line gets a minus one. Uh, and then your linebackers stay the exact same. Maybe Javon Kirsten said is a 98. Uh, there, but pretty much Harold Landry is still just a plus two, so you're not really losing much there. But like I said, if you have bad corners, a good line, go with lockdown. If you have, if everyone's really good, run balance though. I mean balance D. That's what it comes down to, pretty much. Um, if you have a 95 plus overall team, run balance D, because pretty much your all your cornerbacks are going to already be above the, you know, the coverage thresholds. Uh, there's no really defensive line thresholds. They just all play the same unless you use abilities. Um, same with linebackers. Linebackers are terrible. Use safeties if you want to. Go ahead and use her with a safety. Put them at sub, linebacker, uh, and that that's that would work out pretty well too. Um, but yeah, really comes down to look at your team. What fits your scheme? If you have bad corners, like I said, run lockdown. If you have a good D-line, run lockdown. Bad D-line. You know, I, I don't really like pass rush run stuff, like I said. So if you have a bad team, like maybe not, not such a bad team, but like a 90 to 93, 90 to 94 of all team, you can use lock. I, I would run lockdown. So that's pretty much it, guys. Lockdown and balance D are two really, really good, uh, you know, chemistries to use. But right now I'm running balance D. Lockdown is not a bad choice either, but... I'd probably go with balance D right now in this point of Madden because a lot of guys already have really high overall teams. They already hit all the thresholds. The balance D gives you a plus overall boost to pretty much everyone on your defensive uh, side of the ball. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, that's really going to do it. That's that's pretty much it. I, kind of a confusing video. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, please drop them down below because uh, I will gladly answer them because I know this is probably a pretty confusing video. Um... But yeah, guys, Balance though and Balance D, in my opinion, are the two best abilities to use right now in Madden. So that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all. <laughs>